Look around. It looks like we're on the brink. Jobs are scarce, there's geopolitical conflicts, there's massive environmental changes happening. And it's only getting worse. As we transition to the next billion, two billion people coming onto the planet, we just don't have a choice anymore. That's Fengru. She's an entrepreneur, and she feels there's no choice but to try and help solve a massive global issue. We need to start thinking about other ways of continuing feeding the population without harming the environment, without animal cruelty. So is it entrepreneurs who can tackle these big problems? They're even more important today than they've ever been in society in trying to advance the way we all live. And there's an organization that's helping to make entrepreneurship more accessible to everyone around the world. So how can entrepreneurs make a difference? For Fengru, CEO and co-founder of Turtle Tree Labs, it's simple. An invention is just an invention, it's not an innovation, until you're able to commercialize it. Because that allows all of us to be able to access technologies that help the environment, help with animal cruelty, help advance human health. The technology Fengru is commercializing is lab-grown milk to revolutionize the dairy industry. Over the past 20 years, the number of cow population has remained quite constant, but the amount of milk has increased. Milk yield has increased by 40 to 60%, and this is really by getting the cows either to be bigger or getting them to produce more milk. And this way of producing milk is just not sustainable. With more than 6 billion people consuming milk daily, the environmental impact is staggeringly high. Animal agriculture accounts for 37% of global methane emissions. Here in Turtle Tree, we are a biotech company and we're able to produce milk and milk ingredients without the animal. So the first cell that we're starting with is a fungi cell. This is the fungus that I am telling to produce lactoferrin. Lactoferrin is an antimicrobial antiviral protein found in the milk of mammals like humans and cows. Back in 2019, when we first started the company, there were a lot of companies focused on meat and seafood, but we were the first company to come up with um, the technology around cell-based milk. And this is where the trailblazing happens. So entrepreneurship really drives a lot of that, and partnerships with existing corporates can also help to elevate these entrepreneurship ideas. The Kaufman Foundation seeded the development of the Global Entrepreneurship Network, GEN, in 2008 at the height of the Great Recession. We wanted to advocate for more people becoming entrepreneurs because we knew that was so important to our economy and, and not just in the United States, but globally. And so part of our mission was to tell the world that Silicon Valley didn't have a monopoly on entrepreneurship, but we also wanted to have everybody in the world understand that it is possible for them to do it. We needed to have a global ecosystem of individuals and organizations that believed in the power of entrepreneurship. Also part of Jen's mission, to not engage in a country's geopolitical activity. If we're gonna be genuinely trusted by all nations, we mustn't judge the citizens of a country by whatever happens at the geopolitical level. Focusing instead on celebrating entrepreneurship and in some cases, overcoming cultural resistance to it. We have an ecosystem of policymakers and we work with them year in and year out doing policy audits in terms of how they're trying to remove barriers to entrepreneurship. When we first did Global Entrepreneurship Week in many of these former Eastern Bloc countries, socialism had a culture whereby you weren't really supposed to do anything unless someone told you to do it. Community by community, we told them, don't wait, don't ask for permission. Go break something, it's okay. Go break something caught on. <laughs> Jen is now in over 200 countries with different programs that form one global entrepreneurial ecosystem. The Jen ecosystem is diverse. 
in a geographical sense. It's obviously diverse demographically. And then finally, it's diverse in terms of the types of organizations, universities, governments, accelerators, and investors are the people that ultimately are going to be putting the resources in the hands of entrepreneurs. What Jen can do is connect the dots so that entrepreneurs and startups that have a great ideas anywhere in the world can have the spotlight. The first place goes to Chisel Tree. DG and Network has been instrumental in connecting us, putting us out there, making sure our story is heard. You end up with this wonderful blend of both expert verticals and then this ecosystem that's got the horizontal, which is all of these national communities. This is 22 on Sloan, Africa's largest startup campus, growing and scaling entrepreneurship throughout the African continent. We're here in a startup campus that was dreamed of, built, and continues to be operated exclusively by entrepreneurs and the private sector. We have plus minus uh, hundred startups, where we get startups from ideation to commercialization, bridging the gaps between various players, private, public sector in the ecosystem. We really support them from end to end. In just five years, 22 on Sloan has helped startups generate over $40 million in revenue and create over 500 high-skilled jobs across Africa. That is a huge impact. That shows that the future is bright of young people on the continent. The last 10 years have been absolutely exponentially growing and scaling for startups and for the entrepreneurial community as a whole. And if I may say so, I think Jen had a lot to do with it. At the heart of Jen and entrepreneurship is the calling to fulfill our true potential. Entrepreneurship taps into this fundamental human desire to have some control over your destiny and to create something and to make a difference. And I think that cuts across countries and culture and gender and race. We can only make change in technology, in the lab, but real change comes when we touch people's lives. Entrepreneurship amplified exponentially would be great for humanity and for society because those are the solutions that will hopefully solve some of these pressing problems that we're facing today. We have to be a steady drumbeat to remind people that entrepreneurship represents the possibility of human endeavor and that there is always the opportunity for anyone to be able to be part of that future.